As we approach the end of August, the Apple iPhone 13 is not far away. Today, we have a report of how many Apple events is going to be this fall, and also a report of a key iPhone 13 feature missing the launch date. I want to share the details about this, then a summary of everything we know so far, including the iPhone 13 release date and price. Hi, it's Matt here. So as mentioned, it's not now long until the launch of the iPhone 13. If you are new here, a big welcome and welcome back if you follow my videos already. For everyone new, this video will be giving you the latest leaks or reports first, followed by the release date and then a summary of the iPhone 13 models with the prices. Also, as there's the reports coming in now for both the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro models, these leaks are split into two videos now. So we are now in August and it's been a couple of months since WWDC. We now have public betas for all of Apple's new OS's including iOS 15. iOS 15 is giving iPhone users new FaceTime features and iMessage changes to name a few. However, we're expecting a few more software tweaks for the iPhone 12s or the iPhone 13 and for them to be married up with the new hardware put inside. So let's talk about that new report of how many Apple events there's going to be this year. So a new report has come in from DigiTimes that has claimed that due to Apple's big success of three events happening last fall in 2020, that Apple are looking to do the same again this year. The report doesn't speak about the exact dates of the events, but it does mention that there will be three events over September, October and November time. I'm planning on making a video soon of what to expect at each event including the iPhone 13, iPads, watches, AirPods and MacBook releases. The video will be based on if there's going to be three events this year and also based on the reports and leaks with production and what's happening right now. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to get a notification when that video comes out. The other report that we've got is from Apple themselves as it were and anyone who's on the latest beta program would have probably have noticed this that a key feature of FaceTime SharePlay has been disabled. So it looks like the new iPhone 13 may miss this feature on its launch date. The report says the following from Apple. SharePlay has been disabled for its use in iOS and iPadOS 15 developer beta 6 and will be disabled for its initial release this fall. SharePlay will be enabled for use again in the future, developer betas releases and will launch the public in software updates later this fall. So to continue your development we have provided a SharePlay development profile which will enable successful creation and reception of group sessions via group activities API. We'll keep you updated if it looks like SharePlay will be available when the iPhone 13 is launched but at the moment it isn't looking too likely. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks that are coming through are not 100% proof that they will come true for the new iPhone. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next iPhone anyway. So just quickly guys, this channel recently hit over 200,000 subscribers and we gave away this MacBook Pro that we have right here. Well, I have some great news. And that is we're going to be giving away another MacBook Pro. And this one's a bit more specced up over this one. This one has 512 gigabytes of storage and also has 16 gigabytes of RAM inside. And I'm going to be giving away this MacBook Pro here to one lucky subscriber when we hit over 230,000 subscribers. So all I want to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple gear are you planning to buy in 2021? With the new iPhones and the new MacBooks and everything, Thing, let me know in the comments below. Also at the same time as well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we hit that 230,000 figure of subscribers, you want to be notified if you are going to be the lucky subscriber to get your hands on this MacBook Pro. Also at the same time as well, do check out my other videos on this channel, including the video of when we got over 200,000 subscribers and who we gave away this MacBook Pro to as well. So let's do the release date next. So last year, due to the pandemic, it was really the only year we haven't seen a flagship iPhone released in September in the last five years or so. However, with leaks flying around that Apple has started production on the new iPhone earlier this year, it is likely we'll get a September release. In fact, many reports are already showing that this is going to be the case in 2021 with an expected September or early October launch for all the iPhone 13 models. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives believes that the iPhone 13 range will be announced during the third week of September time. 
That would be a little later than usual since Apple tends to launch iPhones in the first week or second week of that month. But this information does suggest that we may be seeing the iPhone 13 release date as September 24th. I should point out this is a fairly good guess and it's based on taking I's prediction at face value. Apple typically holds its iPhone launch event on a Tuesday with pre-orders then starting on that same week on the Friday. Then after this, the first wave of iPhones typically arrive in customer hands the following Friday after that. So this means if Ives is correct, we could be seeing the iPhone 13 launch on September 14th, then pre-orders opening on September 17th, and then the release of the iPhone 13 on September 24th. However, at the end of this year, we will also see other Apple events for other Apple products like MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch and AirPods and loads more. And if you want the latest information about these products, do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest info about them. So next, let's talk about the iPhone 13 model prices and the best way to do this is give you a summary of what we know so far for the iPhone 13 and 13 mini models. So I just wanted to say these summary pages what I'm about to show you are going to be updated continuously whenever we get new leaks coming in for the iPhone 13 mini and also the iPhone 13. Any new leaks that come in will kind of mix up with kind of other leaks that we've heard. That information will also be shared here. So like I said, any kind of changes, they will be reflected in upcoming videos in the future. So let's begin then with the iPhone 13 model. So first of all, we're going to be getting a 5.4 inch LTPO OLED display. And this is very, very similar to the iPhone 12 display. It has a resolution of 2340 by 1080. According to most leaks that we have discussed about, it is looking likely that the iPhone 13 mini will still have a 60Hz refresh rate display. This means it will not be getting the Pro Motion display, what is a 120Hz display, what basically means the screen refreshes itself 120 times per second like we should be getting on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max display. The Mini will not be getting this. But for storage wise, we're gonna get a bump up at last. The actual minimum storage this time is gonna be starting at 128 gigabytes, then 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. This is according again to latest leaks, but this could change again. But at the moment, this is how it stands. We're also gonna be getting that brand new A15 Bionic chipset inside it. And again, these new leaks that we've been having have been showing what the power is gonna be behind that actual chipset. And also that production has also started on them. We're also gonna be getting 5G connectivity all over again. And this will be the same Qualcomm kind of modem that was borrowed inside the iPhone 12. It's gonna be put inside the iPhone 13 mini so not too much is changing there the ram amount is four gigabytes of ram and again this is the same amount that we had inside the iphone 12 mini the body is going to be made out of an aluminium body however this body is looking likely to be slightly thicker according to some latest new leaks to accommodate a bigger battery what i'll talk about in a second on the rear, we're gonna be getting a dual camera setup again. And as you've seen in the latest leaks, we've got some components on the go. And a lot of those components are changing for the actual iPhone rear camera setup. Then for battery size, we do have a bump up according to the latest leaks. And this is 2,407 milliamps. And then finally, for the price wise, the 128 gigabyte model is going to be starting at 699 US dollars. The 256 gigabyte model is going to start at 749 dollars. And then the 512 gigabyte at 849 US dollars. So let's move on to the iPhone 13 next. And to be deadly honest, a lot of the bits and pieces that are in the iPhone 13 mini are identical to what's going to be put inside the iPhone 13 normal. But one of the biggest main changes has got to be the screen size so with the iPhone 13 we're going to be getting a 6.1 inch LTPO OLED display what again is very similar to what was put inside the iPhone 12 normal its resolution is 2532 by 1170 and again we'll be getting a 60 Hertz display no pro motion or 120 Hertz display like we'll be getting inside the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max so basically the the screen will refresh at about 60 times per second. 
Again, for storage, we're getting that bump up from 64 to 128 gigabyte as the starter, according to many new leaks here. And basically, we'll be getting a 256 gigabyte and a 512 gigabyte option as well. We'll also be getting that A15 bionic inside it what again comes with all the new bells and whistles and of course being more efficient than ever we're also getting that qualcomm 5g modem put inside it what's identical to the one what's put inside the iphone 12 normal we're also getting four gigabytes of ram just like we had with the iphone 12 again and then just like the iphone 13 mini we're going to be getting an aluminium body and it's going to be slightly thicker to accommodate the slightly bigger batteries what we've seen in some of the latest leaks we're also getting that dual camera setup and again that dual camera setup is going to have some big changes that we've seen in recent leaks so far and then finally the battery size is going to be a 3095 milliamp battery and that is definitely bigger than the one that was put inside the iPhone 12. For price rise it's going to be starting at 799 US dollars for the 128 gigabyte version then the 256 gigabyte model is going to be 849 US dollars and then finally the 512 gigabyte model is going to be 949 US dollars. So, as per usual with this list of features, I'll be keeping it updated as more leaks come on in all the way up to the iPhone 13 launch. Well, it's time to wrap this up, so don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest iPhone news, Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit subscribe followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see you soon.